Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are back with Yeso and in the last episode we finished like the main quest. We finished against All Hope, but Lyrant still has um, some stuff for us. However, oh okay she is here. Um, a word. She wasn't inside when I logged back in. But uh, we're just going to continue with this because I don't know what this could be. We stopped the Waking Flame's threat to Blackwood and saved Fargrave from the Incarnates. But many questions remain unanswered. Mehrun's Dagon is still a threat to your world, mortal. And there are things I still wish to learn. Will you aid me again? Uh, what do you need, Levin? I want to resume our search for the fourth ambition. And we should track down the other ambitions, Sombrin and Kalia. They need to rejoin us before Mehrun's Dagon's lackeys find them. I also want to know why Dagon is interested in the Anchorite. Okay, good. I have a feeling the Anchorite is the fourth ambition. Um, so at least we do get a little bit of, or at least I hope we get a little bit of closure on the whole ambitions and stuff. Uh, so how do we proceed? I sent for your wood elf friend, Everly Sharp Arrow. I asked her to comb through the Longhouse Emperor's documents to look for more clues as to the fourth ambition's hiding place. She should arrive shortly. Let us meet her in the Plaza of Portals. Okay, I'll meet you and Everly in the Plaza of Portals. The window of opportunity closes quickly, mortal. Oh. Both for what I still wish to learn and for you to save your world. Mehrun's Dagon has been thwarted twice, but that will only make him more dangerous next time. Let us go meet up with the Wood Elf. No. Okay, so this must be that quest that I was on about. I was looking through the achievements. So there should be three of these. We have the last ambition, uh, ambitions end, and hope springs eternal. So this quest is the last ambition. I'm glad that they're actually, uh, so I guess, closing it off, but... Um, at the same time, I don't know why they wouldn't have been in these like main quests, unless it's just because it's not this place is amazing. specifically hey, to do with the deadlines. This place is incredible. Investigator Vale never went to Oblivion in any of her stories, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I was nervous when Lyrant said I had to use a portal to get here, but this is great, and you're here now, so it's even better. <laughs> Lyrant said uh, she asked you to look through the Longhouse Emperor's documents. Did you find anything? A lot of crazy talk about conquest, Mehrun's day gone, and staining the world with the blood of their enemies, but nothing more about the ambitions. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I definitively could tell that Emperor Leovic had certain records destroyed. I'm not sure how we'll locate the fourth ambition if you couldn't find anything in the documents. Yeah, sorry. I know Lyrinth was counting on me to come up with some clue to follow. I thought I had a lead about one of their holdings, but I hit a dead end. It seems like the Longhouse Emperors took all the information with them to their graves. What else have you been doing since we last saw each other? Mostly helping out around Leowin. And I did a couple of small tasks for Governor Keshu. Rounding up a few stray cultists, that sort of thing. Otherwise, it's been pretty quiet. Until Lyrinth contacted me, that is. Uh, did Lauren tell you what happened in Fargo in the Deadlands? Uh, how did she contact you? Um... She gave me the highlights. Weird Cataclyst devices, Sister Seldina, that evil Nokvros guy. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. I can't wait to meet the Anchorite though. I always thought about getting a mask, like the Green Hood or the Scarlet Judge. <laughs> uh, how did Lauren contact you? She sent one of her creepy followers to bring me messages. That Rogatina woman. Letters mostly, but Lyrinth did stop by to give me final instructions on how to get to Fargrave. I got to use a portal key. That was exciting. Okay, right. The Longhouse documents were no help, and I still haven't heard any word from my contacts. Our next chance can be found at the House of Whims. The House of Whims? That sounds intriguing. Meet me at the House of Whims. It's time to explore the Anchorite's memories. I mean, it's really not that far. <laughs> she has to use a portal. Okay, right. So the anchorite is probably going to be the key. And I said it, I'm pretty confident that she is the fourth ambition. It would seem weird if she wasn't. But I guess she anchorite, never Anchorite, 
Mayroon's Dagon was particularly interested in you at Ardent Hope. We must examine your memories. So you're the Anchorite, huh? Neat mask. Thanks. I like your bow, too. Let us begin. Mortal, use the memory vessel to capture fragments of the Anchorite's recollections as the ritual progresses. Use the vessel to collect the memory fragments when they appear. Okay. I will use the Anchorite's amulet as a focus. Uh, is this supposed to hurt? There, a memory fragment. Take it. She is my blood. The legacy of the Longhouse Emperors flows through her veins. Keep going. We are close. Another memory fragment. Take it before it disperses. You are a tool, nothing more. Fulfill your purpose, or you will be discarded. No! Please, make it stop! You're hurting her! Stop! Stop this now! Foolish mortals! You try my patience! The Anchorite's memories are too scattered, unfocused. She has not yet come to grips with the fact that these newly restored memories belong to her. Let me see the memory vessel. Perhaps we were able to gather something useful after all. Okay, here it is. Ah, this is a very early memory. The Anchorite has a babe, hearing her father's voice. I can use this, yes. Uh, what about the second fragment? Another early memory, but this time her father's voice is cold. Commanding. These fragments vibrate with emotional veracity, a signature of sorts. I can use that to scry the location of the Longhouse Emperor, or, more accurately, his soul. Uh, what do we, uh, sorry, why do we care where the soul of the Longhouse Emperor is? If you find the Emperor, you can talk to him. Get the information you need directly from Morakar himself. I sense he is imprisoned in the Deadlands, in the Brandfire Reformatory. Take the Anchorite's amulet. It will lead you to the Emperor's soul. Uh, how will the amulet lead us to the Emperor Murakai's soul? As I understand it, the amulet was a gift from father to daughter. Its connection to Morakar is strong. Use it in the reformatory and it will lead you to him. However, what state his soul will be in after decades of torture, I do not know. Okay. Tortured souls, my favorite after <laughs> Um, right, let's go to the Deadlands. Oh, okay, so this is inside a, a delve. Oh, cool, I just went past the Deadlight portal again and uh, we can use it. So this is the delve um, that I have already done. I have said, oh, I said in the first episode when we started this series, if you guys would like me to do the delve, um, like quests or just the delves in general in a video, then to let me know, um, in the comments at the moment of me like recording this the first episode hasn't gone up yet but if any of you guys do say that you do would or would like to see the delves and stuff then i will do them with this another character madam wim said the animal of the died us wisp let's follow it i wonder how many souls are trapped in this place Where's my sword gone? It's just like literally invisible. Oh, there it is. I don't think this is what the Longhouse Emperors expected when they made Taste their body of Mayroon's Dagon. Ooh, a door, okay. Looks like some sort of forge. I wonder if it still works. One way to find out. <laughs> um, okay, there are small objects spread about the disarray. I believe they are lucents. Okay, cool. We know about lucents. Did you hear that? It sounded like a c the furnace door is sealed tight. Why would my amulet lead us here? Open the door. 
Your Emperor commands it. The same voice from my memory. Emperor Morica. There's Has a discharge been... labrum there. We need to find and charge some lucents. Wait, he's been in there this whole freaking time? The door opened. Hmm. All I see is a chunk of slag. Wait, what? Before there's no doubt about it. The voice came out of that chunk of slag. And it sounds just like Emperor Morika's voice from my memory. He wants us to free him. Do you think we should? Uh, we come here to find the souls of the Longhouse Emperors. Uh, any thoughts on how to set them free? Melt them down. <laughs> You've seen this place. It's all about torture. I think they fuse the souls of the Emperors into that chunk of metal. Seems like a fitting punishment for anyone who incurred Mayrun's Dagon's wrath. But we need to free them to talk to them. Any idea how we accomplish that? We need to ignite the furnace to melt the slag. I spotted two more discharge labrums. If we take that charge loosened and stick it in one, that might get us halfway there. We'll need to find a second loosened though. Okay. There are right. two other discharge labrums. If we can find another lucent, we might be able to ignite the furnace. Uh, Look, up I there. Guess we got a lucent. Well. Place the charged lucent in that discharge labyrinth by the wall. I really wish she wouldn't. Like it kind of, it's kind of annoying. Over here, there's a dynamis font. Let's charge that lucent. That worked. The lucent is charged. Now place it in one of the discharge labrums. So annoying. The furnace ignited. Good job. Get out of the way then. Oh my god, get out of the way. Released at last. Who must we thank for our freedom? Um, okay, so we've got... Oh, okay, so that one's him. Let's speak to these other two first. I still taste the blood of my enemies. Those I crushed beneath my heel. Thus prison is an insult. I am a conqueror, a god in my own right. My teeth have shred the flesh of hundreds, thousands. I demand the respect I deserve. Who are you? <laughs> Has the mortal world already forgotten the name of Durkarach, the Black Drake? First of the Longhouse Emperors. The plan was mine. Mine! The blood of the Reach sings with fury in my veins. How dare Mayrun's Dagon betray my legacy? Mayrun's Dagon is my enemy. Tell me about this plan of yours. Lies. You have the tongue of a liar, and I will rip it from your mouth. Oh. I will not be swayed by your words. I won't let you betray me. The power promised by the pact is mine by right. You cannot have it. Away with you! Okay. This is not freedom. No, simply a respite from the darkness. I remember the traitors at my gates, the blade of the usurper slicing through my flesh. But I hid them away. I did my best to fulfill the bargain. Okay, who are you? I am Leovic. Last of the Longhouse Emperors. But who are you? You have the stink of the traitorous Varen about you. That snake. I knew he was coming. I knew I had to take action. Preserve the plan. Keep the secret. Salvage the contingency. Tell me about this plan. It started with my grandfather. But it was my father who passed the responsibility to me. It was all part of the bargain the Black Drake made with Mehrun's Dagon. We would prepare the four ambitions, and in return, our family would rule forever. So what happened? I took action. I moved the ambitions to new vaults. Safe vaults. But before I could do more, the usurper murdered me. And how did Mehrun's Dagon reward me? By locking me away in a block of metal. 
the secret of the Longhouse Emperors died with me. An eternity of agony. This was not what the Prince of Destruction promised. I did everything the Black Drake commanded. Everything the High Priest instructed. And I gave precise orders to my son. So why the torture? And why is the weapon here? Uh, Emperor, I need to ask you about your daughter. <laughs> daughter? You mean the weapon. Why have you brought her here? You cannot let her fall into the hands of Merun's Dagon. He reneged on his promise to us. I see no reason to keep our part of the bargain now. Weapon? What are you talking about? I told you guys. <laughs> you did not know? The girl is one of the four ambitions of Merun's Dagon. But she's not like the other three. Oh, no. I made a few modifications of my own to the High Priest's ritual. She is not just an ambition. She is my contingency. Contingency? An Emperor never relies on a single strategy. We were promised power if we delivered the ambitions at the appointed time. But Daedric Princes are not to be trusted. So I prepared Mairead as a weapon that could deal with Dagon, should the need arise. Hey, deal with Mayrin's Dagon? How? My daughter, the fourth ambition. She's the key. Along with the other ambitions. She can call forth the power to banish Merun's Dagon. That was my contingency. In case the Prince of Destruction lied, and we needed to send him back to the Deadlands. Is this true? Is the Anchorite really the fourth ambition? The Anchorite? Is that what you call Mairead? Ha! <sighs> Use her. Her and the ambitions. Bring my vengeance to the Prince who betrayed us. Go to the Isle of Joys, a retreat not far from here. All the details are there. Ah, someone comes. My ambitions. The other ambitions? Where? I'm an ambition? One of those people Lyrant was talking about? How is that possible? We are not property or playthings, Morkar. Sombrin, no! You are what we created you to be. You wanted a weapon? That chased my power! Oh, oh Sombrin. Why? He's getting it a bit out of hand. Because hey, it was her friend. brother. We better talk. Oh my goodness, everyone wants to speak to me. Okay, because it was her brother who died in the first part of this chapter. I almost decided not to accompany Lyrinth. But now I'm glad she insisted. How else would I have gotten the opportunity to punish the Longhouse Emperors for what they did to us? Finding the last ambition? That's just a welcome surprise. Why did you destroy the souls of the Emperors? We could have learned more from them. I have no interest in more of their lies. And neither should you. I gave the Longhouse Emperors exactly what they wanted. My power. Besides, they'll reform in this place eventually. I just couldn't allow them to corrupt the last ambition. What do you mean corrupt her? Those men were evil when they were alive. Do you think an existence of torture in the Deadlands would change that? The last ambition needs to learn from Kalia and me. I sense that same power inside her that courses through us. We belong together. Uh, okay, um, he suggested there was a way to defeat Mirren's three gone using the ambitions. A fantasy. We can't hope to stand against the Prince of Destruction. Look, I've learned a lot since last we spoke. Too much to explain and too little that you would understand. It's time for the ambitions to take our destiny in our own hands. I mean... At least listen to that. Um, okay, so Everly is the one that we need to speak to. That man, Sombrin, he seems familiar. But why did he destroy the Emperors? There was so much more I wanted to ask, especially of Morika. I... I can't quite bring myself to call him father. But what Morika said... Is it true? Am I an ambition? That seems to be the case. Maybe you should talk to Sombrin and Sombrin and Kalia about this. Maybe, but familiar or not, they're still strangers. We came here for answers, and while I learned something, it feels like all I got was more questions. Um. Okay. Said it was possible to use the ambitions to defeat Marin's Dagon. Right. Morika said the answers were waiting at the Isle of Joys. I have no idea where that might be. Look. 
Your friend Everly wants to talk to you, and I need a moment to think this through. But don't worry, I'm with you to the end. I okay. promise. I... I didn't think Sombrun was going to do something so... dramatic. You have to forgive him. He's been very... intense lately. What do you mean, intense? I'm not sure how else to describe it. When we first arrived in the Deadlands, he insisted he could help me control my powers. That I could practice without fear of hurting anyone. But lately, he's been different. Almost desperate. Desperate? He spends most of his time reading that strange book, searching desperately for answers. He's obsessed with our power, trying so hard to understand it. But the more frustrated he gets, the more he pulls away. And now, this. I'm worried about him. Um, okay. What was that about a strange book? You must remember. The book Evely gave him, Lirinth called it the Mysterium Xarxis. He's become obsessed with it. He's sure the answer to controlling our powers hides somewhere among its pages, and he pours over them at every opportunity. Um, okay, you think the book is affecting him the way it bothered Everly? Not in the same way. I don't think he's having dreams or anything. Sombrin's always been passionate, but since Jestron died, his rage has been growing, and the frustration and desperation makes that rage harder, sharper. And what he just did... Have you talked to someone about any of this? I've tried, but he wants to protect me. He doesn't want to burden me with the weight he's carrying. I think he needs to work this out for himself. I just hope he can do that soon, before he lets that rage and frustration destroy him. Okay, right. I am not all right with what just happened. Lirinth and I managed to find Sombrin and Kalia. We convinced them to come with us. But I had no idea he was going to explode those poor ghosts. Did I hear correctly? The Anchorite is the last ambition? That's what he told us. <laughs> That's just... Did you have any idea? Yeah. Well, I guess that makes it easy enough. Now we know where all the ambitions are. Did you learn anything else before Sombrin blasted them into non-existence? Uh, Empress had a contingency plan. We can learn about it on the Isle, Isle of Joy. Wait a moment. I know that name. Remember Lirinth had me comb through the Longhouse Emperor's documents? That name was listed as one of their hunting retreats. But I couldn't find any other information. Do you know where it is? Uh, located not far from the Brandfire Reformatory. That's why the map didn't make sense. It wasn't a map of Tamriel. It's the Deadlands. All right, my friend. Let's go see what we can find at the Isle of Joys. Mayrune's Dagon could move against us at any moment. Okay, I'm ready. You're one of us, Anchorite. An ambition. Do you know what that means? I don't know a lot of things, it seems. I can answer your questions. Come with us, to a place meant only for ambitions. I'll show you. No. We need to stay together. I'm sorry, Lirith. I need to do this. <laughs> Face Facebook. Damn it. That was a mistake that may cost us dearly. Mortals. Always so unpredictable. As annoying as that is, perhaps that's what keeps me so interested. You and Evely head to the Isle of Joys. See what you can find there. I will follow the Anchorite. I want to keep an eye on Sombrin. Uh, do you know this place someone was talking about? No. And his erratic behavior worries me. Mortal minds were not meant to read the Mysterium Xarxes. I'm wary about him separating the Anchorite from us as well. We're going to need her once you determine the nature of this contingency plan. You seem pretty angry about the Anchorite deciding to go to Sombrun and Kalia. My reaction is irrelevant. The Anchorite recently had her memories returned to her and has yet to make sense of them all. Now she discovers she's also an ambition of Mayrun's Dagon, and a tool of a father she didn't know. I understand her motivations. Uh, how will you follow them? Have you not realized after all this time that I have my ways, little mortal? I found Sombrin and Kalia once. I can do so again. In the meantime, you and Evely should search the Isle of Joys. We must discover this plan that Emperor Morikar spoke of. 
like places where things have happened, even if they were sad. That's the island over there. This portal should get us across. Oh, pretty guy. Okay. okay, awesome. It's not very joyful here. Look, Imperial ruins. This must be the Isle of Joys. Um, okay, explore the island. Can I, like, cheese my way around this? I don't want to fight anything. <laughs> couple of things that we can interact with. Should I do the one over here first? Okay, a rune etched ring. Nice. Uh, our research thus far has been frustrating to say the least. Uh, scouring the deadlands for answers. Okay. The ego nimic? What's that? Wait, is this the island? Hmm, a map. All right, this was a productive trip. At least Emperor Morikar's ghost didn't lie about leaving stuff here. Let's review what we found. Uh, the ring looks like a uh, companion piece to the Anchorite's amulet. Yeah, I noticed that straight away. Maybe they were part of a set, and this one was Emperor Morikar's? And look, it has some weird runes etched into the surface. It might be important. Hold on to it. What about that journal? The journal mentions something called Egonymic. Let me see. The Egonymic is some sort of name? It says it has the power to banish Mayrune's Dagon. That's huge. But whatever we need to access it isn't here. It's in the Anchorite's vault. I still can't believe she's an ambition. What about that map? Uh, it's definitely one of those doom vaults. There's a location marked inside the vault. Didn't we explore all the vaults in Blackwood? Wait a moment. I did read about one other vault. Doom Vault Vulpanaz. It was cracked open and ransacked during Varen's revolution. So I assumed any ambition inside it was long gone. Uh, I've been to Doom Vault Vulpanaz. Really? You explored another vault without me? You're trying to make me look bad. <laughs> what did you find? Tell me there was something there that connects to all this. Did you get to search at all? Uh, I explored a good deal of it. Hmm. I guess if you'd found the key to a weapon that could banish Mayrune's Dagon in there, you would have told us about it. <laughs> Most likely. Well, we can't give up now. This is still worth looking into. Maybe this mark indicates a hidden portion of the vault that you didn't spot last time. We have to at least try. I'll meet you there. Okay. I mean, no doubt it probably does. No doubt it probably does. Um, so let's go... Is it this side? Or is it actually in Blackwood? Oh, it is in Blackwood. Okay, so cool. We get to go back there. Everly and Bastion look well cute. Oh, it was this place. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I think we did the... We did the... Oh, yeah, because the quest that was here was for Miri. Um, it was Miri's quest. So where Look, are we? Those yeah. runes are similar to the ones on the ring. There must be a connection. I knew that ring was important. All right, I guess we end. Oh wow, cool. Is this gonna burn? Is this where the I feel like it should live? <laughs> Looks like someone else has been here recently. 
Uh, it all happened so quickly, horrible, twisted looking men tried to take me. They wouldn't say why. There were a few screamed a name I didn't recognize. Uh, not for us. Oh! Uh, all my research has led us to this, uh, the secrets of the Deadlands opens up to me and I know there is something within the vault that will help us understand Mayroon's Dagon. Okay. That's Sombrin's diary. I guess he and Cal, you spent some time here. Did he write down anything that can help us? Wait, are there any more pages that I'm missing? Like, anywhere else? There's this chest here, which I can only imagine that we get to open. <laughs> So Sombrin and Kalia came here at some point, after they left us and went to the Deadlands? I wonder what they were looking for. So, anything good in Sombrin's diary? Sombrin used his power to access this hidden chamber, but he couldn't open that chest over there. Hmm. He's not on the same level as the writer of the Investigator Vale stories, but his writing isn't bad. Interesting. Does he know about the Ego Nimic? It doesn't seem like it. He just says he thinks something important is inside that chest. Uh, if he couldn't open it, how can we? And I bet it is the ring or something. Hey now, positive thoughts. Let's examine the chest. Maybe the ring will help. It got us into this hidden chamber. Who knows what else it can do? Gotcha. This enchantment looks powerful. That's unusual. I have absolutely no idea what that is. She's always here. She's always popping up. Mortals, we have a problem. That fool ambition. He will ruin everything. You both need to come with me. Sombrin has turned to Mehrun's Dagon and he plans to take Kalia and the Anchorite with him. We must stop him. Oh my god, he's such an idiot. Uh, what do you mean Sombrin has turned to Mehrun's Dagon? How clear must I make it, little mortal? He has Kalia and the Anchorite and is attempting to force them to go with him. He plans to present them all to the Prince of Destruction. We must get to an Ilark summit and stop him. Oh, uh, all right, let's go. When I left to retrieve you, Sombrin was attempting to wrestle power from each of the other ambitions and take it for himself. He will turn that power over to Mehrun's Dagon unless we intervene. Quickly, through the portal. There is no time to waste. But why? I liked Mortals. him as well. I think I'm finally getting used to them. Let's go. Emily is so funny. She seems like it's just she's just like so sweet and innocent. As before, ah. the properties of this accursed mountain play havoc with my life. <laughs> so I'm choosing to remain still. All the way up this thing. Wait, I think I've run out of food. You better let me eat. Sombrin took Kalia and the Anchorite through that door. Come on, you said this is a you said this is a rush, so I'm rushing. Sombrin, stop! This is insane! We're not coming with you. Damn it, they found us. This is not your concern! Oh my god, go away. Only stop, 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 stop. Dagon can teach us. Help us control our powers. It's all in his book! But I can't let you interfere. Destron! Deal with them! Dastron? Sovereign, what have you done? That's it, Parker. Give them everything you've got. Die. Come forth. Let my memory of you destroy them. Kalia, I'm sorry. I'm doing what's necessary, Kalia. For all of us. Your power is better off in my hands. Sovereign, leave her alone. Yeah. So Kalia is dead. Sorry. Oh no, she's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. Sombrin didn't expect you to fight back, Anchorite. Well done. Wh what did I just do? We should go too. I will summon a portal to take us to Fargrave. Well, I kind of I liked Sombrin. I'm sad that he's like a bad guy. <laughs> I mean. I guess he could tell you how to use your power. Kalia and the Anchorite will be safe here. Come, little mortal. Let's talk. But he also wants to use you. I did not expect Sombrin to turn against us. 
or for him to try to take the power of the remaining ambitions. He now possesses the power of Destron and Kalia as well as his own. If he hands that power to Dagon, neither of us will like the results. Uh, what do you suggest? I am still considering our options. At least we have the Anchorite, and she still has her powers. That is enough for now. You did well, mortal. Against all odds, you continue to prevail. Take this with my gratitude and prepare for what comes next. Okay. Right. Mortal, a word. So, we have done that part. We have finished that quest. So, the last ambitions uh quest ambition collector so yeah we've done that one so the next one should be ambitions end um so i will do that in the next video um i'm so glad that we actually do get to carry on because i was really <laughs> confused but i would have thought that it would have been like within these main quests here um even though it's not just fully dedicated to the deadlands like we have gone back to i mean we've only gone black back to black code once uh but still anyway yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this episode and the series it's uh, gonna be a longer series than what i thought but only two more uh main quests here uh to do with the ambitions i'm really annoyed that sombron has turned by it but thank you guys so, so much hit the like button leave comments don't forget to subscribe if you are new and i will see you all in the next video take care bye